Welcome to episode 2 of season 1. See you. Hey everyone, what's going on? I um, hope everyone is having an incredible day. I'm having quite a good day. So I'm walking here. Uh, my offices are literally just across this building. So I walk to go look. I need to buy something, but I couldn't find it yet. Um, but just walking like past this building right here, as you guys can see this building behind me, just one thing goes through my fucking mind. This is cash flow. This is that monthly fucking income that doesn't stop coming. I mean, take a look at this place. It starts like there and it ends all the way down there. Like it is absolutely ridiculous, the cash flow. Like, I mean, this just today again shows why like, if you buy a house, it's honestly like, what are you doing, man? Just use that capital, invest it in this type of real estate. Like, this this building probably easily gives you around what? It's got to give you at least half a million rand a month, if not more. Like, there's probably around 50 units in here. Because maybe a little less. Yeah, it's got to be anything between 200 to 500,000 rand of monthly income. I mean, that... There's no investment that you can compare and your building's worth carries on growing so that's the that's not even like the cash flow is awesome but it keeps growing your building's value every year keeps growing by like this area it's anything from 10 to 15 percent per annum i mean you, you just don't get any other investment like this unless you want to go play like me personally i'm a bigger fan of the stock market but that is a lot more of a difficult game and a much more riskier investment so if you guys are looking for a safe, good investment, it is really sad. I mean, just look at this place. This place is phenomenal. Guys, if you're in South Africa, definitely come check us out. Century City, this place so is incredible. Just to quickly update you guys. Yes, of course, I'm still a financial advisor. Work for Liberty. I actually just got home right now from the office. Still quite early. It's nearly three o'clock. Um, um, Cause I've got some stuff to do at home. Some preparation to do before my meeting at 5.30. Then I'll go there and I'll probably head out to my mate's place and we'll do some stupid things, maybe brainstorm together, you know, do some shit, and, oh, hold on a second, watch this, guys. Your boy's looking fire today, your boy's looking fire. <laughs> Jokes. What's up, everyone? Um, not why did I say what's up? Anywho, so yeah, just to update you guys, besides for the financial advice worker, I'm working on some new projects across Africa, though, like Zimbabwe, Botswana, those places, involving real estate because um, those are fairly developing companies. I'm very optimistic about them. I'll actually, I'm gonna do a whole video about why I think Africa is gonna become the most successful continent. I'll also write a blog on it, but yeah, guys, stay tuned, it's gonna be huge. Okay, in case you guys were wondering, you know, like most of you probably know what Liberty is, like a massive insurance company, very corporate style, and I literally go in with these shoes. You know what stairs I get? One guy even commented I should go play basketball, but hey, I'm not in it to go play basketball, I'm in it to manage basketball players money hey, hey thinking right there turns out that these waves are pretty large and the only rip currents that there are to get out are at the rocks so it's like getting very difficult and like i've been here for like half an hour we and i'm kind of getting a little pissed off because i haven't caught any wave yet besides like a little one that was like you know fuck i'm just gonna take it so yeah it's been a successful day <laughs> Yeah. 
few moments later. Oh no, that was fun. Wow, 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 wow. So guys, review on the surfing, what did you think, Benj? So, I give it like this. You can look at the camera when I'm... Oh, okay, review. Review on the surfing. Was what I call a very inspiring trip. The waves <laughs> came crashing like thoughts through the night, like dreams okay, so waving. If you write a storybook, bro. Right? So the waves, they all represent a different animal, a different force of animal. So in short, I sucked, the waves <laughs> were great. Brian? Almost died. <laughs> Almost died. Yeah, I actually had to like come sort of like save this man, eh? You were like 200 meters out, of not 200 meters. It's a good 50 meters out. And you? Review. You can talk in your language. I... <laughs> <laughs>